Hello again. Uh, welcome back to the Sterling Engine Mark uh, for project videos. Um, I just thought I'd chime in to give you a quick update of what we're up to. Last time I was trying to work out where to put the heat exchanger. Um, I measured all these temperatures um, with a tem temperature probe while running our little rocket stove. Um, I've decided um, after a few comments from various people to put the heat exchanger right at the top here. Um, this is so the, the rocket effect can take effect here and all the gases can burn up and, um, and go up the riser before they actually heat the, hit the heat exchanger. So now I know um, what height I'm going to put the heat exchanger, I can actually uh, start designing it. I use um, just a 2D CAD package. Um, I only use it in a in a basic function really, just to um, pull some various designs out. So this is the rough design. So I've got a uh, diaphragm piston there, diaphragm piston there, flywheel, a crank, which obviously maintains a crank angle as well. And then the heat exchanger, which goes right through the whole lot like that, which goes from the hot side to like the regenerative kind of area to the cold side. Here you can see the profile of the, uh, the pancake seal. That's the sort of the rubber diaphragm there. And our heat exchangers and just sort of um, working out all that sort of stuff. Once I'm kind of happy with the actual dimensions, I can start to pull off actual templates of what I want to have cut out in steel. There we go. So I've got that lot now. So I've actually sent all these away. So here's all the laser um, bits I got cut out as received on the pallet. Um, so, so these are the um, these are the rings for the pistons. Uh, this is the back plate of a piston. That's one of the pieces I'm going to weld on um, with all the heat exchanger tubes that are going to be going through. Um, the big bits here are the uh, the side sections with the mounts for the bearings. Um, Conrod, one of the levers, um, longer levers, and these are going to be welded onto. Hopefully, they're strong enough, but if not, I'll have to strengthen them up a little bit. Um, plate for my chimney to go onto, and um, some other bits and bobs as well. Bearings are going to be using these um, uh, ball bearings. Um, they're the swivel type, um, and they're held in by these these press plates that bolt each side of the bearing. So this is the rocket stove now. You might notice it is a little bit shorter than last time. That's because I've basically hacked off the bottom bit. When I plotted the design on the computer, I soon realised I didn't actually need the bottom bit because I had enough clearance um, to fit all the, the stuff in where I needed to. Here you can see I've uh, cut a hole. This is where the heat exchanger will be going through. So there'll be a uh, be a pancake piston on here, this side, and straight out the other side, the heat exchangers will all come out. So this is one of our heat exchangers. This is a practice piece I did. Um, I bought a piece of two inch pipe, uh, 1.5 millimeters. This is only mild seal. This is something I haven't mentioned quite yet. That I uh, actually hope to make the heat exchangers out of mild steel. Um, I bet uh, there's going to be quite a lot of people who are going to be worried about them but actually burning themselves out very quickly. Um, and they might be right. The reason I want to try mild steel is because the conductivity is uh, considerably higher than any kind of stainless steel. Um, to the factor of about four actually. There's been quite a few... Uh, comments and stuff I've seen on uh, various forums and that where people have had great success with mild steel for how long I don't know but um, but it does has got better conductivity um, there'll be eight of these in total going through here like this all the way out like in that position for the flywheel I shall go to the flywheel storage area where I keep all my cast iron heavy wheels um, for this engine, I think I'm going to be trying to fit this one here, which seems to be a fairly good size. I've got that on there I could fit as well. I mean, I can always give it, give it a go to see what happens, but I don't think there's quite enough weight on it. It's not actually technically a flywheel. It's a, it's a little, little cast iron wheel. So there you go. There's a brief review of what I'll be up to. 
Um, I'll be very interested to see what people think of that. Um, maybe you can stop me going wrong before I'm doing something uh, blatantly uh, ain't going to work. So um, there you go. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye.